Hey guys, how's it going? Skigoni here, and as you guys can see, today we are reacting to Dingo Doodles D&D Story Fool's Gold Episode 21. Anyway, uh, you know, I'm just... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, anyway, I don't own anything done by Dingo Doodles. All credit will be down in the description below both the video and the channel. And with that being said... Let us begin. Okay, so what yes. happened last time? Right. Some deep life talks. R weird Mercury Learned Dragon thing. Sips's new powers along with some raccoon soul pushing. What yes. Seeing the God given gift that is Vicky. That's me. Arena <laughs> found out her mom there sold it is. her soul to a goo dragon because poor decisions. To That's really save her. stupid mom. So, I don't then know. Keep her safe. I don't know. Tense fight with a wyvern where Gothi almost died. died. She then woke up to a scene of a very scary and then Jack, in a tree Jack and a very murderous jawbone about soul pushing. Was the same <laughs> way, but completely catatonic. Like its soul was pushed, was pushed out, out, of, its out of its body. body. Yep. By someone. Who would know soul magic? Yeah, you done fucked up, boy. Yeah. Which Gothi was like, because I'm starting yeah, you done to fucked feel up, boy. that someone hasn't been a hundred percent honest. Honest with me. Isn't that right, Jack? Oh. Wait. Oh, hold on a second. How did the uh -huh. wyvern get like that? Jack? How did it end up what? catatonic? Wait, no. Ah, because I only know two types of magic that can do that. So either you're a necromancer or you've had a crystal shard this entire time. Ah. I, I, I don't know what happened. Well, maybe Jawbone eating a few toes might help your <laughs> no, I, I panicked. One moment it was going to eat me. The, the next it just dropped. I, I don't. Do you really expect me to believe that? No, I, I just jack. It's happened before. I don't so. know why. Or how, but whenever I feel like I'm about to die, things just drop like that. I don't know if you should call me lucky or cursed, but it freaks me out just as much as you. So he doesn't Please, actually know. I'm not your enemy. I was I right. Need okay, one thing I wanted to point out was the fact that after I watched the previous episode, I didn't put this in editing, uh, like you know, post editing because I don't, I don't like that sort of thing because it kind of, I feel like it kind of ruins the current reaction that's happening. Anyway, the thought that I had afterwards was the fact that he seemed scared and confused but if you're someone who knows that they're capable of this and knows how to control it you wouldn't be confused that's what kind of got me second guessing on if he's really aware of what he's capable of doing or not help. but he doesn't seem like he is help Gothi rolls a sense motive and he's genuine Ooh. We'll have to feed you something else. Archaeologists <laughs> are too rubbery. Anyway. <laughs> Gothi and Jack sit around a small fire for an interrogation. Jack explains okay. that this has happened before, where he'd be in danger and the creature would just drop. Die. Right. Well, not drop. Him. Well, not die, but its just soul was drop. pushed out of its own body, which really just sounds like soul magic. Mm. Zanu or someone possessing a crystal are the only ones who could do that. That's what I'm wondering. And you're telling cause... me you have no knowledge of ever having a crystal shard. Okay, here's my question. Is it on him or is it in him? Is he not even aware that it's in him? No, you guys are the first people I knew who had one. I'd read about something like Zanu, but I never knew there was something like that actually mm. existing. Gothi stares intensely at Jack and makes another high sense motive check and sees that genuine he's not lying. Yeah. You see, Jack is not some big bad. No, no? it's something more complicated. Is on Oh boy. How many crystal shards are left again? Yeah. Five. Five. See, Abby Arena probably Gothi. Where are the other two? I sense one is on the other side of the portal, lost when I was shattered as the portal closed. But the other oh. is in that. 
That's why... Okay, wait, wait, he was about to say something. But that's that's why he needs him to open the portal to then create a body. Because I was wondering, like, if you could just... If you could, just why not collect all the shards then and there, create a body, finish putting the crystals in, or not even him putting the crystals in, just, like, before he goes to the other side, why not just make a body, transfer himself into that, and go through the portal? It's because he can't. He needs that final crystal that's on the other side of the portal. Okay. Shattered as the portal closed. The other is in that man. That in man. that man. Jack. Now, He's, don't it's, freak out. It is inside of him. Out of there. But I I think you might have a crystal inside you. Oh my what? god. No way. I call bull. <laughs> him? Yes. He indeed possesses a piece inside him. In his abdomen. What? Wait, Can how? you get it Can out safely? It? <laughs> okay. I'm freaking out. It's just a theory. But by the evidence, it seems likely that you obtained one without knowing it. Yeah, that how? doesn't seem possible. It makes sense, though. It's you the only thing that makes sense. soul magic subconsciously as a defense mechanism. Yes. Like a scorpion and its tail. The crystal is just trying to keep its host alive, but that also makes me wonder. Jack, do you truly think that fire that drives you to open the portal is, is your yours? own? Wait. Whoa! No. Whoa! However, that doesn't mean I ha Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, okay, wow, all right. So it's not his own will. Is it not his own will to do it? He's just being influ like like he he feel like oh god he's being subconsciously influenced. Could that be it? Oh my god! You've been controlling there's, him. Oh, there's so many questions. <laughs> However, that doesn't mean I haven't encouraged him. Encouraged him. Yeah. Okay. So Zano has the ability to essentially amplify somebody's soul desire. If you really want to be a clown, <laughs> Zion can boost that desire to the point where that's it's all you want to do. Because, yeah, it becomes it's obsessive. It's like motivation on crack. The fire that never goes out. That's why Jack always seems so underliningly evil. Where he'd do anything when it comes to foreclaimers and the portal, but in reality, you gave him an obsession. Obsession or passion. The line is ever so Ooh, thin. Oh, wait, hold on. Portal, wait, sorry. Sorry. Reality, sorry. Sorry. Do sorry. Anything when it okay. Comes to for that. That right there. That right there. That right there. I never picked up on that. I never, like, I, I don't know if this You're was called to. Evil. But here, I remember I remember him, like, jamming the uh, the, the crystal into Gothi so that, you know, Gothi is back to who she was initially. But where he do here, like, this right here i wonder if that's like a subconscious memory because we had that guy who took off gothy's face and i wonder if this is something that feels like it was similar do anything when it comes to foreclaimers and the portal but in know. reality you gave him an obsession yes obsession or passion the line is ever so thin they both you... reach his goal. Your goal. We mm. share the same outcome. He wished to open the portal just like me. That is not evil. Okay, fair. He's always had, I guess he's always had that desire to open the portal because as it was said, Zanu can amplify the, the desire, but I do not believe that, I don't think anyway, that it was said that he could give him that desire and then amplify it. I feel like, He's always had that desire as an archaeologist, but Zanu just amplified that desire. Okay. I kept him on track. Ooh. I helped. Helped? Are you able Ooh. to manipulate me? Have any of my decisions been my Ooh. own? Sips, if I wanted to manipulate you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Jack's and your decisions are your own. I am not your enemy, Sips. I simply want help. And to help you. Then prove it. 
Hmm. We'll have to find a way to prove it. Oh my <laughs> god, this is crazy. I don't, without <laughs> pushing someone's soul out of their body. Yeah, I'd, I'd prefer that. But for now... Here's I another need... question. Here's another question I got is... Um, would he be able... Like, if someone's soul was pushed out, is there a chance to put that soul back in? Or is the soul just gone? Time to think. Because it seems that you're most likely just an idiot. Not even. Eh. Uh, yeah. Thank you? We're still doing this. Okay, so but he's I'm not, not bad. But I'm not taking any chances with you, Jack. He's not Try evil. anything I don't like, and... Well, Java oh, no. will, will eat, eat me. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> well, who knows? Maybe if you're right, that means maybe the crystal shard really was just trying to help, protecting me and all that. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. So, mm. I can help you control your wild magic. What? How? Okay, so Sips' magic huh? works like this. Sips casts a spell drawing from Zanu's source of magic. Uh -huh. Like a warlock. <laughs> <laughs> then it moves throughout <laughs> Sips' body. However, when it reaches his soul slash curse part in his body, the magic gets messed up, making mm. it go wild. The more okay. the curse is covering Sips' body, the more the curse has a chance of messing with the magic. A.K.A. Got the it. wild magic percentile that keeps going up. However, the more he's corrupted. If Zanu and Sips work over. together while casting a spell and feels it going wild, they might be able to concentrate together to stop it. The two against one thing. All they gotta uh, do is practice. Uh, I'm not just gonna start casting okay. spells to go wild. That stuff don't mess around. I could just explode and die. Impossible. You are immortal. <laughs> what? But with a god in your mortal body, you do not age. And if you ever get close to death, I will step in and prevent it. No matter the cost. Right. Um, I can't remember her name. Crazy pota poison potato girl. Because in the state that Sips was, he was technically clinically dead, if I remember properly. However, Zanu was able to step in, intervene, and save him. Wait, so... Buclair. Can't die? Correct. Dang, what? That's Sh crazy. Huh? I am a Mary Sue. However, uh, who? if I do need to step in... There will be, be consequences. consequences. Yep, okay. Like uh -huh. what? Well, all right. I guess let's no. test out some wall magic. Like, like what? So no, consequences like what? Or so. Sips trains with Zanu and it goes... Okay. Right. Uh... <laughs> Is this supposed to hurt? Probably. You know, <laughs> Probably. God, you're a really shitty one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, artificial Sips god. He succeeds his concentration check and stops the wall magic surge from happening. He loses okay. his spell slot, but nothing happens. Oh, holy crap, it worked! I, I did it! Okay. Um, Sips' victory is shortly lived as the fourth light shoots up into the sky. Four down, one, one to, go. to go. As the countdown continues, but... whether he likes it or not. not. We're running out of time. You need to make a decision, Sips. This, this is going, your this chance is going, to step beyond yourself quick. and make a difference. I said... Shut it. Okay. But how, I wonder, are they going to do the final crystal? Because that's still with Arena. I think. Because she was the last person to have the, the mech dragon. Vicky! Second rule. Vicky time. <laughs> hey, why so sad? Because there's a fourth beacon. Here, how about But I don't think she would understand. Oh, Vicky! See? Better! <laughs> She's just it? trying to distract him. It's just... 
Okay, if you had the choice to wipe out an entire race of people that lacked the ability to feel empathy, who tortured and tormented an artificial god over 2,000 years ago, would you do it? Even though it would be the next generation, meaning these people had nothing to do with the previous atrocities, but they might do it again. Who knows? Is that enough evidence to justify killing an entire race of people simply because they lack empathy? Yep. What? Are they what? bad people? They can be, but they Anyone don't know how to be good. Anyone can be. It's oh. just their nature. Well, I'd want to protect like... people I love, so I'd do it. So you'd commit a genocide. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but I mean, I'm like eight. That doesn't... No. Get out. What? Huh? Hey, what? I need the cabin tonight. What? Why? Huh? Secret. No okay. Huh. So... Oh, I'm breaking back in. Okay. Sips turns no. invisible and just magics his way in. Vicky pulls out a bag and places it on the floor. Now, our group's initial reaction no. was, Aw, is she gonna throw a surprise party for her? No, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hella Yay. dark. No, I think it's gonna be hella dark. Something to do with the werewolves. <laughs> Until she pulled out the crowbar. Uh, what? Am I about to get robbed by a little girl? She then turns and moves one of the rugs, exposing the bare floorboards, which she lifts up using her crowbar, revealing metal anchors. Huh. Vicky then pulls out from her bag big iron chains. Wait, never mind. I'm going to get murdered by a little girl. Hmm. I don't she think secures so. the chains to the anchors then shackles herself to them and just stands there for something. She looks determined and steady, but then she has a small look of fear as she glances towards the window and the full moon rises. Suddenly, Vicky's body lurches forward. A look of pain shoots across her face and Sips watches as she transforms into something unnatural. Black fur, large teeth, and sharp, deadly claws. A werewolf. Sips turns off his invisibility, which instantly causes Vicky's feral instincts to kick in, and she jumps towards Sips to attack, but is stopped by the chains, by the chains holding her back. And Sips is face to face with this small, scared, and angry werewolf. It appears that she's cursed. That's that's why my touch curse didn't work on her. She's already cursed. In this world curses can't stack, so Vicky would automatically be immune to Sips's touch curse. She was never at risk, only at risk to herself. Do a spot check. Sips looks around the cabin and notices old, large scratch marks on the floors and walls not made by raccoons but something else this is her cabin that's why she's been able to get in here she has the keys she'd come here every full moon and wait it out all by herself sips approaches her oh but my is instantly heart swiped at i'm sorry a very vicious but scared vicky Oh my I god, I'm, I'm sorry. I getting in close. Unless I don't know you would what to like do. To truly test if you are immortal. Shut up. Just let me think. We, can Sips you weighs out the risks? But he knows what he has to do. No. Moving into her square, Vicky instantly Just... lunges towards Sips, jaws open, ready to attack. Sips then purposely moves his left arm in front of his body and takes her bite. Teeth piercing deep into his flesh he then raises his cursed hand and swiftly places it onto vicky's head gently hey it's okay i'm gonna cry you're not alone oh Ugh. not anymore no stop then there's a pause stop as vicky's fierce feral look starts to soften as she comes stop. to realize where she is who she's looking at. Oh my god, I gotta cry. And she just No Cries. No, no. 
Her jaw unclenches from Sips' arm. Sad and defeated, the two just sit with each other. I'm gonna cry. Sips lightly pets her head, staying with her all night, till she falls asleep. Sips can't sleep anymore anyway, so it gives him time to think. Time to think about all that's happened so far. The choices he's made, the choices he has to make, and what really, truly matters to him. Zanu, if the four claimers came through the portal, what happens? Depends. There are many scenarios, but no guarantee. What do you think would happen? Ooh. War. War? Wiping out everyone who is defective. And they won't stop in the bellowing wilds. They will spread their warfare like wildfire. Affecting all. Then you don't really have a choice. Okay. I'll do it. I'll help you commit a genocide. No! Uh, uh, okay. Ooh. Wowie, 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 zowie, zowie, zowie. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. <gasps> Okay, wow. Alright. Okay, wow. Alright. Wow. Okay. I'm sorry I keep saying that, but there is... Wow. Oh my... There is so much. There is so much going on here. I'm sorry, but there is so much information that's being thrown at me. Oh my gosh. Four crystals. Vicky's a werewolf, which makes sense why she wasn't cursed. She was always able to get inside because it was her cabin. She's a werewolf. Oh my gosh. Four crystals. One more. Arena has the last. And we don't know where the mech dragon is. You guys, I'm sorry, but this is wild. I'm going to need time. I'm going to need time. I'm going to need time to come to terms with everything. Come to realize, like what's happened this i'm sorry but oh my gosh i didn't give too much of a reaction because i was i was just shocked by <sighs> there's a lot so much all right anyway i'm sorry but there's there's so much i want to talk about but i i don't want to keep you guys here any longer so thank you guys so much for coming out to watch this video you have a fantastical day or night. Which I want it is for you guys. And I hope to see you guys in the next video that I do.